Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. It's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love. In every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 126, NASDAQ up 59, SP's up 17 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $29.90, trading to 2016 an ounce. We have silver off 73 cents, $23.32 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck 93. $71.26 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 27 ticks, trading 110.10. 30 year off a full point, plus 5 ticks at 119.03. And King Dollar, King Dollar's up 464 ticks at 104.005. You can see that there's, there's divergence right there. It's how, the, yeah, you, you got the dollar going up, but yet the market wants to finish this ABC structure up. Euro at 107. Yen at 144, British pound at 125 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&Ps first, folks. Bottom line is that, you know, the one-to-one -one ABC structure is 462. We're going to get it, you know. I suspect we're going for all-time highs, actually. So the real question is, is the affiliate gap first or do you go to all-time highs first? Anyway, we've hit 460, 47, 462 is the number. Uh, you're going to, you have decent volume today, but it, you know, price-wise, you take you're taking everything out here, man. You're taking out the last five days. You know, we had the, the high volume the, about a week and a half ago. You're taking that baby out. Uh, you're going into the other swing point uh, from four months ago. We've just took, taken that out. We put this. We put this on a weekly for a second for you, so you can see how it's set up. You know, you're, you're breezing right by, man. I mean, you, this is a big move, man, because the, the, the bottom line is once you breeze by this, we only did. Uh, let's see. I think we did four. Why doesn't this come up on this side? Yeah, I do it a different way. That's on a weekly. Okay, so if I put this back on a weekly, I need that. Put it on a weekly. Okay, now let me get this. Yeah, so on the last get go, let's see what we did here. Yeah, you can still do you can still do a monster ABC structure up there. So this is going to get interesting here. Now watch this. Yeah, I think I already did this. This is okay. So I have this on a weekly. What is that? Two thirty-five. Oh, this is pretty intense. You know, this is. I just put this on a weekly. I just got to get close to this for a second. Three, three fifty-two. Yeah, you, we very well, okay, can have a monster ABC up here. We're taking out a B point, and you did a point six weight of, the, I'm going back three months now, man. I'll, I'll, we'll, get that, we'll get that wrapped up. I'll, I'll take a look at that. But that's, that's what that looks like. We go to the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. Bottom line, same type of setup. You know, you, you're coming up. 37 million shares. The last high only had 38 million shares. You know, so I'd like to see a little bit more. We had good volume yesterday, but in, inside the NDX, so that can do about 15 million. So we might be able to do 50 million. Gold, the gold contract, you know, we haven't got a rejection of lower price. You've done 221,000 contracts. Now you go, you're going into we're, we're, we've gone from one contract to another, but the bottom line is that um, what is opened, let's just see what we did here first. I think we're probably, we're more than a 50, yeah, because of that spike. So you're more than a 0.618 retracement on the way down, so that can go to the bottom of the range. If we go to the GLD, which is going to give you the volume characteristic also, this is where, you know, you are, you know, coming into... Let's see what we did here. It's not going to be an ABC down because 
You don't have enough volume. This still can get to the bottom of the range, though. There's no doubt about it. Because now you are inside the, the, the range, meaning that you know, we broke out out of that range. Let me do it this way. Now let's go to the GDX. Take a look at the GDX. Okay, so this is, yeah, see, that's the, that's the breakout area, and you're, you're below it. Now, you can see you're below it with a lot lighter volume, which is great, okay? Um, you know, we're talking about uh, 20 million versus 41 million. That being said, you know, bottom line, you're still inside that lower range, you know? So now the question is, is that there's a couple places that you can get, you can stop pretty good. The, one of the bigger ones is down at, uh, what, we're 29.66, that's 26.67. So it looks like is that right? No, no, it's not that low. Sorry, man. This is like I gotta need magnifying glasses or something. Like that. It's about it's about another sixty cents lower. That's what it comes down to. Notes and bonds, they still want higher price. You know, take a look at the note and bond market, what you have out here. What we did is that you're coming back with one point nine million, but guess what? You're coming into two point four, two point five million. You've already rejected the 110 area, now we're at 11010. And here's the divergence. The divergence out here today, no doubt, is that you do have the dollar uh, trading higher. That being said, though, actually, when you take a look at this dollar, what you're going to see is that the, the dollar, now, number one, it hasn't done a 0.382. It's just missed it, actually. And that's pretty wild. We got over the last two trading days highs and now you're underneath it but you're coming into that monster downdraft bar and that's not you and me selling that's institutions selling and they, they decided to sell before that point three eight two and you know so there's a seller that's laying right there the real question is going to be you know can it even make a point three eight two the divergence today that i'm seeing out there is that the s and p's are stronger than the dollar and so it's pretty amazing that we actually have a market that still wants to go that one-way route, particularly after that number come out this morning because you saw the S&P futures go down, shook it off, comes all the way back up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.